Yo, it's your body Android Doctor back again, and today I'm going to show you how to install Jelly Bean 4.1.2 onto the Xperia Player Mini. So it's a real simple process. I'm going to guide you through real quick. So the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to go ahead and unlock your phone's bootloader if your phone's bootloader is locked. So if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader, I'll leave a link to my simple tutorial video in the description down below. I'm sure that'll help you to unlock your bootloader. So once you've unlocked the bootloader, the next thing to do is you need to go ahead and download Flash Tool. This is it here. So once you download it, just click on it and then run it. And once you run it, you'll need to install the Xperia X10 Mini drivers, also the fast boot drivers and the flash tool drivers so make sure you install all three of them so remember it's the X10 mini drivers the fast boot drivers and the flash tool drivers in order for flash tool to work you have to all have all three of those drivers installed um, so I'll leave a link to flash tool in the description down below the next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to download the Jelly Bean ROM this is it here and you'll also need to download NAR kernel this is it here let me just check and see which version it is. So it's version 505, nah, FTF, it's an FTF file. So I'll, I'll leave the link to the Jelly Bean ROM and also the nah kernel in the description down below. Okay, so once you've done that, you'll need to go into settings on your phone. select applications where it says unknown sources make sure you tick that box there at the top then select OK where it says development where it says USB debugging at the top make sure you tick that as well okay so the next thing to do is open up the flash tool folder and where it says firmwares You're going to drag and drop the NAR kernel into there. Then select back. And you can close that down for now. Okay, the next step now is to connect the phone to USB. So I'm just going to put down the camera real quick. Okay, so it's connected to USB. Select connect your phone there at the top. Close that down. So as you can see I've got access to the SD card now. So what you'll need to do is just drag and drop the Jelly Bean ROM onto a blank space on there. I've already done it. As you can see the ROM's there. So close that down. And now the next thing to do is open up Flash Tool. Select the little flash icon there. Might take a while to open but be patient. Okay, so it's opened up now. So once you've got um, all the drivers installed, the, the Xperia X10 drivers and... Um, the fast boot drivers and the flash tool drivers once you've got all three of those drivers installed correctly you'll see all this information pop up about the phone as you can see it says android version 2.1 update and also the kernel version so now we're just going to go ahead and root the phone so this little padlock here just click on that and now it's going to root the phone If you see an error, don't worry about that, it's, it'll still root the phone, don't worry about it. Okay, so now the phone's rebooting. So 
So we're just going to check and see that the phone is rooted. So we're just going to have a look for the super user application. And there it is, super user. So the phone is now rooted. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to flash the NAR kernel. The NAR kernel also has Clockwork Mod Recovery implemented inside it, so that'll give us recovery as well. So we're just going to flash the kernel real quick. So select the little flash icon there where it says flash mode. Make sure there's a black thing there. Then select OK. Now we're going to look for the kernel. There it is, E10 Na 05. So just go ahead and click OK. Now it will say unplug device, power off device. Press the back button and hold it. Plug the USB cable. So we're going to unplug the phone. Press the power button. Turn off the phone. So now keep your finger pressed on the back button and then connect the USB cable. So I'm just going to put the camera down to do it real quick. So as you can see. My fingers on the back button, the USB cable's connected and it's flashing the kernel. So wait till it says flashing finished. Then you can disconnect the USB cable from the phone and then power back on the phone. And when you see the NAR logo come up, keep pressing the back key. Until it takes you into recovery. And then on the side, use the volume rocker. And go down to wipe data factory reset. Then go down to delete all user data. And then go down to. Don't know if you can all see that. Wipe data cache portion. And then go down to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. And then scroll down till you see the jelly bean ROM. E10 JM JBMP. And then go down to install. It does take a while to install, so be patient, guys.
Okay, so once it's finished installing, just hit the back key and then reboot system now. Okay, the first the first initial boot will take about five minutes, so I'll be back shortly. Yeah. Okay, back again. So I'm just gonna go through the setup process real quick. Okay guys, so there you have it, Jelly Bean 4 point, hold on, let me just focus, 4.1.2 on the Xperia X10 Mini, so that's how you install it, um, like I says, um, don't forget to unlock your phone's bootloader, that's the first thing you need to do in order for this to work. And also install the fast boot drivers, the flash tool drivers, and also the Xperia X10 mini drivers in order for flash tool to work. So that's it for the tutorial videos, guy. guys. Um, if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, if you get stuck with anything, leave any comments in the section down below, and I'll respond as soon as I can. And yeah, that's it for the video. I'm out. Deuces.